a super practical and awesome way to store your lenses properly, a stunning DIY video and 3D animations. Stay tuned for that. What's up guys, welcome to this week's episode. Unfortunately, my camera is still at the uh, maintenance place of Canon. Just this morning I got the email of Canon uh, that they're processing my camera now and starting to repair it. So I'm looking forward to it, getting it back next week. Before we dive into the topic of this week, I want to thank all the guys out there supporting me and giving me feedback. I had really good conversations. Um, if you want to be part of it, just leave me some comments down below this video and give me a thumbs up. And also, if you don't want to miss out some videos, just subscribe to my channel. I would really be happy if I could call you a subscriber. So today it's about how you store your gear. First of all, I would like to explain to you guys my situation. I have my office in a room which is pretty small, about nine square meters. Uh, where I study, where I work, uh, edit my photos, store my camera gear and at the moment I'm storing it at the floor where all the bags and I also got a special board for my stuff in my shelf where I store my books at but it looks kind of messy. I mean you see it here and it's all crumbled together and it's lying on top of it and Sometimes if I grab one thing, another thing falls down to the floor. So I wasn't really happy with it. And I started thinking last week what I can improve. So I get more space in my tiny room and how I can store my stuff more safely. I'm thinking about a series of how to store your stuff. Thinking about building my own battery wall where I can charge my batteries and store my batteries. And also I'm thinking about a uh, place where I can store more smaller accessories like SD cards and maybe some remote uh, triggers. But today I want to focus on storing your lenses properly because there's a way that you can store your lenses the wrong way. Until last week I didn't know it. Uh, my girlfriend told me about it and huge thanks to her out there. And also she brought me her lens it's probably the last lens that is in my house uh, this week. So, so she borrowed me for demonstration purposes. Normally I store mine before thinking about another method of storage. I store mine lenses normally just in my camera bag. I left them in there. I didn't see them. Everything was fine. So my girlfriend told me that if you store your lenses like this, so if I had them in my camera backpack there was a chance that they were like this and if you store them longer in this horizontally post and um, that the oil which is there to get a smooth zoom of the lens and also a smooth focus when you're uh, handling the focus ring of this lens starts to flow down into your lens and that is what's not supposed to be. So you get a more smeary image. If you have problems with that, probably you sh should send your lens into a camera dealer. The proper way to store a lens is this way or upside down this way. Actually, you can just rotate them in time. If, you, if you're really not that high frequently camera users, you should actually do this once a month maybe. But if you take your gear out and move it so the oil stays in place, that's totally fine. So the right way is to store it this way. So what I wanted to do is also get rid of the lens hoods of this thing. So I wanted to build a one for all solution. Now that we know we have to store those things upside down, let me show you my design I worked out on a computer. So I used the software called Tinkercad by Autodesk for designing this lens holder board. And yeah, it's free. You don't have to install anything. It's really great for designing things for 3D printing. I will put a link in the description below so you can find the software. Also, I will put a link to download this design for you guys who have access to a 3D printer. I'm curious, just let me know how it works out if it's 3D printed. I'm going to build it out of wood and I'm really curious how it works out if it's 3D printed. But anyways, um, here you see the design. 
On the back we have those angles here, so you can mount the board to the wall with four screws so it's nice and tight and it and on top of the board you see this hole which has a diameter of six centimeters. This hole has to hold the rear end of my lenses because they have different diameters on the front end and I chose the rear end. So it stands in there and on the downside you see those red clips uh, which can turn by 360 degrees. Those are made for holding the lens hood. So I'm going to hold the lens hood underneath this board and turn those red clips over the edge of my lens hood and then it hangs there upside down. Now <clears throat> that we know what we want to build, let's head to the garage and build this thing. quite happy with it because it turned out really great it's sort of a prototype I'm going to build five more of those I plucked in those little uh, textile things that's kind of made of the same material as the seat belt uh, because this is going to avoid scratches and on the downside you see those hooks I've had here actually I used some mounting for an LED strip for the lens hood holder so you can easily turn them into the edge of the of your lens hood and then, then it hangs down here. I really think my lens is stored safe in here and it's stored in the right direction because it sits in there quite tight. You don't have to be scared that it's falling off the edge because it sits in there tightly. And yeah, I'm quite happy with it because look, and another great thing about this board is that you can store your stuff outside of your bag. So you now you go into your room and you see your stuff. You see your equipment and you know what you have. So going, you're going along this wall and think about, hmm, why not this time use a macro? Why not this time use my teller lens? Or I haven't used my wide angle lens in a while. So this going along and see all your equipment is starting to remind you of what possibilities do you have. I think that this is a tremendous feature of this storing board. Even if we did not took any photos today, I'm really happy about the progress we made because we actually built something. And I think even as a photographer, it's, the, it's always the aim to create something, even if it is a storing opportunity for your gear. So I'm great, I created something and I got it out there and also I'm great to share it with you. So that's it for today, week guys. Next week I'm going to talk about my favorite techniques that I'm using daily in my photography process. So if you want to improve your photography on location immediately stay tuned for that. Also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any video of mine. I'm curious about how you store your gear so leave me some comments below on that and also i'm really curious if you built this lens holding system how it turns out so give me some feedback on that and yeah of course if you like this channel give it a thumbs up 
don't forget to subscribe and see you next week guys